Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with another color with me. Today we're going to be working with CC Designs and it's called Frank and Henry. So what I decide to do because October, you know, it's Halloween month, I'm going to try and upload all my little designs that are related to Halloween. I've already uploaded the witch and the little pumpkin girl so you can go back on my channel and find that and then last week we did Rory and today we're doing Frank and Henry so what I decided to do was I had Copic markers and Ohuhu markers and they especially my Copic markers they've been sitting in my scrap room for close to 15 years with me using them maybe once a year so I decided to start this little series where I'm using the first part of it. I'm doing the same image, but I'm doing the first part with Copic markers and the second part with Ohuhu markers. Now, I had a few people ask me, can you mix the Copic and the Ohuhu markers, like the colors? I haven't done that yet, but maybe I can do that sometime in the future. Um, a lot of these, I'm about seven weeks ahead, so I can't, like I, you know, to color this one in, it was already done, but we will try that out at some point. But let's talk about the markers that I use for this little guy. So the face was E000, E00, E21, and R20. And what how I do it is the way I say it to you, that's the way that I applied it on the person so I started with E000 I do a full cover of that and then I go in with E00 and just do like where I want shadows and then I blend it in with the E000 I always go back to the lightest to blend the colors in so hair is E41 E42 and E44 the mask is YG21 YG23 and YG17 the coat and bolts is C0, C1, and C3. The mask hair is N3 and 6. The pants are C3 and C5. And the shirt is BV000, BV02, and BV11. The shoes are E41 and E43 and E44. So that's what I use for Copics. And again, I start with the lightest color, then go to the next darkest color, blend it out with the lightest color. And one thing that I've noticed is for me, the Hammer Mill 100 pound paper works best for me. And it's less bleeding, it blends really well. I think it might have something to do with where you live. I'm not sure, because some people swear by the Nina cardstock and for me that cardstock just did not work like it was bleeding all over the place and so I just stopped using it now I'm going to use the Ohuhu markers let's just do right away what colors I use so for the face it's R18, R19 and R20 the hair is Y11 and Y12 the mask is G7, G4 and G5 the coat and bolts is CG00 and CG04 the mask hair is NG03 and NG06. The pants are CG00, CG04, and CG07. The shirt is V230 and V250. The, sh the shoes are Y11 and Y12. And the reason that I am coloring all these little CC Design stamps in, you know, you can do cards with them, you know whatever you want to do with them but for me I'm a scrapbooker so I'm going to be adding those as little decorations or elements or embellishments on my scrapbook layouts. Now I've used quite a few of them already on my layouts and I absolutely love it. Now one thing that I do is I've heard some people say you know when they use them in their uh, bullet journals that the ink is transferred on the next page. Like, um, you know, I'm doing this on cardstock, so it won't bleed through because I'm just gluing it in. But what's happening is the page in, that it closes on, 
the ink is transferring let's say if the image is on the right side well it's transferring on the left side of the layout not through it because i am using a you know a separate piece of cardstock so what i'm doing to prevent that is i'm using some distress glaze from tim holtz or jenny bolin and it's one it's making the inks way more vibrant and two it's stopping stopping that transfer now another thing that i thought of when i first started this is where am i going to keep all these little colored people you know i don't want to just put them in a box and then never to be seen again and i had just bought some new bullet journals and i was like hey what if I take a bullet journal, I stamp the image in my bullet journal of the stamp set that I used, and then I can just put a little bit of adhesive on the back of the ones that I colored and just, you know, glue it there in, in place. And then that way, when I go to use this embellishment, so let's say if I use the Frank and Henry, well, it's not just a name because I do write the name down on the page too. It says CC Designs Frank and Henry. But two years from now, I might not remember what that stamp set looks like. And, you know, where I keep them, I don't necessarily see the name on the front, you know, as I'm going through it. So if I have a stamped image of it there, I can go, oh, that's that stamp set. I know, you know, I can find it easily stamp it again on some cardstock and repaint it. Now, another thing that I do is, you know, one, it makes it easier to do the voiceover to have everything written down, like the colors. But also, if I really like how it turned out, I can make another one exactly the same way. Or if I don't like the way the colors blended together, if I don't like that combo, I know, well, next time, you know, let's say if I didn't like the purple, I didn't like the way the purple blended. So I'm gonna try a different combo and see if I like that even more. And just a side note, if I were to use different colors, I would definitely just stamp him again, just later on in my book, and then put down the new colors that I used. So I'm just really happy that I'm using my Copics, I'm using my Ohuhu markers, but also I'm making something that is tangible, you know, something that I'm going to use somewhere else. And if you just color for the fun of coloring, there's nothing wrong with that either. But that's it. We're going to end it here. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.